No matter what you're using to create your cost estimates and quotations, an accurate cost estimate begins with an accurate cycle time estimate. A correct time of how long it's going to take to machine the part is the key to an accurate cost estimate. And what's the key to an accurate cycle time estimate? The most important factor is that the cutting parameters, speeds and feeds used in the cycle time estimate accurately reflect what happens on your shop floor. Book knowledge as far as speeds and feeds go that cannot be imitated on your shop floor still lead to inaccurate cycle time estimates. Talking with customers, experience has shown that people use everything from a simple Excel spreadsheet to their CAD CAM system to create their cycle time estimates. There's a fine line between being too simplistic and putting too much effort and too much time into the cycle time estimate. Using your CAD CAM system to create a program that you may never use just to get a time for a cycle time is definitely putting in too much time. The G-code you create through that cycle time estimate is probably not going to be the same G-code that you're going to use on the floor to actually create the part. And what about feature recognition software? Feature recognition software can also be a detriment to an accurate cycle time estimate if the process that the feature recognition software determines is not the process that's going to actually take place on your shop floor. Today we'd like to introduce you to our Kipware CYC, Machining Cycle Time Estimating Software, that we feel is a perfect blend between being too simplistic and too complex. CYC was originally designed to do machine justification. Clients were looking to purchase equipment and wanted to know how long it was going to take to machine their part on that piece of equipment. So the cycle time estimate had to be accurate. Once the machine was purchased, that cycle time estimate needs to stand up in the real world. At the heart of Kipware CYC lies its database design. Databases ensure consistency and accuracy in your cycle time estimating. We have two main databases. First one is the machine database which contains all the machines in the shop and the specifics for each of those machines. The second database is a cutting parameter database where you can store materials and cutting parameters to machine those materials. This database is based on our real world experience where most clients have a favorite tool to use for a specific operation. Well, let's say you're going to turn some 303 stainless, some rough turning and finished turning. Most likely the shop floor has a favorite tool and favorite insert that they like to use to perform these tasks. And you can load those cutting parameters into the database. And the way to build this database is step by step. So today you're doing a job for 303 stainless that's got some milling and some turning and some other operations. Go out to the shop floor, gather those parameters, put them into the database, and then they're there for life. And the main feature of cycle time estimating that we touched on earlier is maintained. The feeds and speeds that are used in the cycle time estimate are the same speeds and feeds that will be used on your shop floor. Using the database information, it's time to create a cycle time estimate. First, some reference information, some estimate specifics for the cycle time estimate to be created. Next, it's a case of going through the part operation by operation. Select a machine from the database. Select a material from the database. A main operation, one of the 10 subcategories that are available under each main operation. Give it an operation description some user inputs, and then the Calculate button. Kipware CYC will go through the database and calculate the RPM and the feed rate based on the material and the database information. Based on the machine in the database, it will calculate the rapid time and tool change time, and we can see the total time. At any time, the user can override the RPM or feed rate that's been auto-calculated, create a new time without changing the database information. So basically, it's a case of just going through the part operation by operation. I'd like to touch on one feature of Kipware CYC, referencing the length of cut. In, it, in order to determine the time of the cut, we need to know how long the tool is going to be engaged in the cut. And we have a little companion application that comes with CYC that helps you to determine the length of cut. That application is called the Cut Length Calculator. 
There's two ways that you can determine length of cut through the cut length calculator. One of them is a conversational screen. By filling in the blanks describing the specifics for the operation, the cut length calculator will determine the length of time the tool is engaged in the cut. So we have milling operations, turning operations, and hole operations. If the shape is not a standard shape, we can use the CLC sketchpad where the user can import DXF files, create a tool library, and then use the machinist mode inside the sketchpad to be able to determine and define the cutting parameter. To do a profile cut on this particular case, every time I double click the mouse, the tool position is recorded. And it's not necessary for the tool position to be accurate because we're only looking for the length of cut. Once I've defined all my tool positions, I can use the calculate button to find the total depth of the part, the depth of cut that I want to take, and then the software will go through and determine the tool length of cut. This can be copied to the clipboard in all the operations and then pasted into the form of the estimate form. The CLC sketchpad is not only built for milling, it's built for turning as well. So using DXF files in the turning mode, the user can calculate length of cut for turning operations as well. So even though the length of cut seems to be a daunting task, CLC makes it quick, easy, and accurate. At any time during the estimate process, the user can view all the operations, see the bottlenecks in the manufacturing process, and even define machines specifically. Inside the screen you can also delete operations, copy operations, and reorder operations. Not only will you be able to create accurate, consistent cycle time estimates, but from those estimates users can prepare a routing sheet. The routing sheet contains RPM and feed rate that can be sent to the shop floor during the setup of the part. Based on the feedback coming back from the shop floor, we can either confirm or revise the cutting parameters, RPMs and feed rates that were used to estimate the part. If a revision is necessary, the user can go back into the database, massage the information in the database, so that every time you use Kipware CYC and receive feedback from the shop floor, the more accurate it becomes always maintaining the main fact of accurate cycle time estimating. The RPM, feed rate, and cutting parameters used in the estimate are actually being reflected and imitated on your shop floor. Thank you for investing some of your valuable time to explore our Kipware CYC. We hope you'll visit us at kentechinc.com, explore some of our other real-world machine shop software products, or arrange for a live online demonstration where you can see Kipware CYC in action and ask questions and get answers in real time.